behavior and today I got you Nyx the mind beat. Nyx is a very unpopular Warframe since she's not a DPS or a tank but hey a simulator exists but it's not the tanking you would want to use. Today I got you 3 builds for Nyx to play her in different types of games. So without further ado let's start by her kit. Her passive makes the enemy's accuracy less when they're shooting at you and that's it. Her first ability mind control she targets an enemy and makes them susceptible to damage and controls them. In this time window deal as much damage as you can to this particular target so they have a damage multiplier. On your weapon build as much raw damage as possible and focus on crits, critical damage, base damage. You can benefit from the mind control targets buffs and debuffs for example you can mind control the Eximus units and ancient healers etc and get benefits from their aura and their damage to other enemies this ability has an augment called mind freak that gives the, the target you select a damage multiplier with 500 that scales additively with the damage you deal to it the second ability psychic bolts Nyx throws six bolts on enemies stripping their defenses for a short duration with barely any power strength requirements. It's a cheap version of Theros Strike and has better reach. This ability has an augment that makes the number of bolts increase from 6 to 9. Nice. The third ability, Chaos. Nyx controls the enemy's minds making them see each other as Nyx causing chaos between them and they start shooting at each other. This ability has an augment that creates a ring that any, any new enemy who isn't affected by chaos gets affected by a fraction of its, of its duration and the ring is it's visible so you can see it. Okay, now you're waiting for me to explain the fourth ability. We don't use it. Yeah, and if I saw you use it, I will hunt you down. I will destroy you. Okay, if you must know this ability locks you into an animation and increases the enemy's aggro toward you and drains your energy. When you recast it again, a base damage multiplier for your guns only, excluding melee. And this ability has an augment called Assimilate that allows you to move with 50% of your own movement speed and you're also unable to jump. This removes the free maneuvers that you already have. You can use some caveats like using your operator or some melee stances but compared to how freely you can move with your own movement, ah, just throw this ability out of the window. For the build requirements, you need two yellow Archon Shards to replace natural talent to create 50% casting speed and one red Archon Shard for ability strength. And this is one for a reason, I'll tell you about it when I explain the first loadout. And a Panzer for Pfeila with this build, and the Vazen Fox School for the protective sling. If you don't want to use the Vazen Fox School, use whatever you want, it doesn't really matter to be honest. You can go for Madurai for more casting speed and ability strength, or Zeneric for better energy sustainment. For the first build, I'm using Mesa's Shooting Gallery that creates an aura that jams enemy weapons and using the augment muzzle flash that stuns enemies after getting six kills or six assists and the build will be as shown brief respite for energy to shield conversion prime sure footed for the less time on your butt prime flow for the large energy pool equilibrium and arcane energize to help with the energy sustainment paired with the pans of Opfila with the synth set Running Guard for the 3 seconds of invulnerability and status cleanse, prime continuity for some duration, stretch and ogre reach for more range, and chaos sphere for extra CC. If you notice here, I don't have enough strength to fully armor strip in the enemies. This is because I'm using a corrosive Telos Pultor and Karnan. So I'm getting a reduction in the, in the enemy's defenses, just enough to get the corrosive bonus and they are weak enough to get one shot it. For a more in-depth guide, check out my Voltor Incarnate video. I explained 
all the possibilities of the builds. All the builds. I explain every build you can ever think of there. My second loadout is made specifically for lich hunting. If you were living under a rock, you probably don't know that Nyx is one of the best lich or ancestor hunters in the game. Utilizing silence to disable their special abilities. And now with the build. Hostler I am a bigger swap to give my my weapons more base damage. Prime sure for it for the rest time on your butts. Prime flow for the large energy pool. Rolling guard for the three seconds of vulnerability and status cleanse. Ugre message for more duration. Stretch and Ugre reach for some range. Abril intensify for enough strength to armor strip the liches. And prime continuity for some duration. Arcane energize for energy replenishment and arcane tempo to give me fire rate of my Cedo that's built for viral damage and hunter munition and has crit chance crit damage prime cleanse of corpus since it affects them or grenier if you're hunting liches galvanize savvy and galvanize hell for gun CEO and multi shots I'm primary merciless for base damage and reload speed and vigilante supplies for ammo mutation last but not least my third loadout that's made specifically for steel path level cap utilizing the heat inherent mechanic and war to multiply my damage and my heat duties i did explain how this mechanic work in my amber video so feel free to check it out and next build will be refresh bed for energy to shield conversion prime sure footed for the less time on your butt prime flow for the large energy pool, equilibrium paired with the synth set for energy sustainment and arcane energize for energy replenishment when you pick up an energy orb, rolling guard for the 3 seconds of vulnerability and status cleanse, umbral intensify and ogre secrets paired with the archon shard to increase my roar damage multiplier and stretch to increase my range, vigor swap to give me base damage when I swap between my weapons since I'm going to have my Preston Prime Incarnate built for high heat damage and a heat inherit primer and arcane acceleration for fire rate to my Preston Prime Incarnate and my Preston Prime Incarnate will be critical delay and argon scope for critical chance prime being a grenier to multiply my damage toward the faction galvanized aptitude although it's bugged it's very beneficial to give me gun CEO and status chance galvanized chamber for multi shots the rounds, vital essence for critical damage, thermite rounds to increase my heat damage, vigilant supplies for ammo mutation. I'm primary dexterity to give me 360% base damage when I get kills with my melee. And the evolutions, Evo 2 forceful fi finality, Evo 3 ready retaliation, Evo 4 absolute valor. And my primer will be the Hysterix Prime, modeled specifically for the Heat Inherit mechanic. And the build will be as shown. Prime Expel Grenier to multiply my my damage toward the faction. And Prime Heat Charge and Scorch to increase my initial heat stack damage. And Viral. And the rest are the status chance mods. And Fire Raider mod shots. That's it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. Please consider subscribing. It's free. You can always change your mind. Stay tuned and see you all next time.